Today we're creating this shapes and text logo using Canva and Photopea. And the good news is it's one of those that you could copyright because it is text and shapes. Let's jump in and do this. From your Canva menu, you're going to select logo and then you're going to create a blank canvas of your logo. You're then going to select elements because we want to get shapes. Then we would like to get the circle shape. Then you select circle and then you take the free version of your circle, the thin, nice one. Size it, you align it so that it's nicely aligned and then you're gonna change the color of your shape to a nice bright blue. So you click on color and then you search for that nice blue. You're gonna use this blue. Then you're going to duplicate this shape by clicking on duplicate and then you size it to make it a smaller circle. Then you insert it inside of the bigger circle. Then you add another shape. We're still on circle. You're gonna select this full on circle that looks like that. Then you're gonna size it into a small circle shape. Then you move it to align with your circles. You duplicate that and you move that piece of a small circle to the other side so that they are aligned. Now you're ready to add your text. You're gonna click on your plus and you're going to go to text and you select your heading text. And we want to call this company A. We're gonna make a big A. And then we're going to change the font of this A and make it a thinner A. Then you're gonna scroll at the bottom of the page to your fonts and you're going to search for thin. So I've used the Agri Thin A and I was happy with that. Then you move the, your A so that it looks like that. Then you duplicate a text and you change this one to a Z and you move it so that it is overlapping each other like that then you add more text now you're going to use subheading text and you're going to put the name of the company you move your text to the circle and you go to the bottom and you change the size of your font so that it's a little bit visible but it needs to go in the circle like that and then you will Go to your effects at the bottom of the page and you're going to go to shape and you're going to select curve and then you click on the settings so that you're able to move the text and curve it the way that you would like so that it fits the design. See? Easy. Nice and easy. Then you're going to duplicate your text and you're gonna do exactly the same for the bottom section of your text. We move our text to the bottom and then we go to effects and we do exactly the same thing and we curve it on the other side. Your 2D is done. You are now going to go to your download when you click on download and you download it as a transparent design so that when you jump in on photo P, it is already transparent. If you don't have the transparent and you don't have pro, you can use the remove.bg to do this, but you can trial it for 30 days with a link below that I'm sharing. Now you're going to access photo P.com. Take note. The app is very temperamental. It's better to do these 3D mock-up designs on the browser itself. So go to Chrome um, or whatever browser instead of using the app because the app takes long and sometimes it doesn't work the way that you expect it to. Once you've landed on Photopea, you're going to use a template to convert it to 3D. 
because it's much easier like that. If you want to download a mockup and use your own mockup, that's also fine. But it's just easy to use the mockups that are already there. Then you're going to select mockups. Then you're going to click on this 3D glass window logo mockup. Then you select photo P, the link. Also take note, some mockups take long to load. So don't be impatient and think the app or the software is not working. It is working. It's just the, the, the mockup takes long to load. Cool. Once it has loaded, you're going to select the three lines, the layer line, and you're going to access where it says your logo. You're going to double click where it says your logo, tap twice, and then it loads. Then you're going to click on the eye to hide the inspiring B text. And then you click on the layer again and your canvas is displayed. Then you're going to go file and you're going to place the 2D that we just designed. You're going to go find it on your files. Then you click and you hold to size your design and you make it nice and big. Then you're going to go file, save a smart object. And it saved the smart object. Then you click once where it says 3D glass window logo and you wait. And there you go. Your 3D logo is done and dusted. If you want your letters to have it on photo P, you just go back to your lines and you take the back light. And then you click on layers again. And then it's a little bit brighter and it looks much better. But um, while you're busy designing on Canva, you can have a brighter color, like a white, like I initially did have. And then you can just now have a brighter color instead of this dark one. So you just go to file when you want to export it and you click on export as. So you can choose whichever format, a PNG or a JPEG. It will pop up at the bottom of the page. And then you can name your logo over there. You can also change the width and make it like a 1.5 so that it doesn't pixelate a lot. And then you click on save and then it exports. And that is how you create a 3D logo using your shapes. And it looks stunning and it's easy and it is copyrightable. Thank you for joining me today. You could watch the next video. We did shapes on Canva and we did a logo on that. I'll see you on the next video.